folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee here. Today we're taking a look at the Mulgut Palm Tamper. These are puck style tampers that are made in Germany and they are basically designed to take advantage of the idea that if you want tamping consistency and tamping level every time, you can utilize the basket and the structure of the portafilter uh, to ensure that. So these are designed basically so the ring here always makes contact in a, a level way with the basket to ensure that you have a level consistent tamp every single time. And these are also adjustable for depth. So if you want a, a, a deeper or more shallow depth, it's very, very easy to adjust just by screwing and unscrewing the piston here and then twisting the locking rings to make sure it's nice and firm. So if you are a coffee shop owner who is looking for much more consistent shot pulling in between baristas and you know across all of your employees from day to day, these guys are going to solve a lot of problems for you. And in fact, the baristas that we've uh, asked to try these out for us have found that their shot quality improves and gets much more consistent when using one of these. So the idea here is that you want to adjust the piston for a certain depth in your basket. Um, you know, there's a lot of theory that says uh, espresso baskets have a sort of ideal range of fill level, a certain depth of coffee bed that is best or will produce the best results for your shots. Taking advantage of that idea, Amalga allows you to adjust your depth very precisely. And you know, there are some uh, similar models that use like spacers or little washers or something like that. Um, whereas the Mulgut has essentially infinite adjustment across its range. Uh, so very, very easy to set and change the depth. So if your dose changes a little bit throughout the day, you can still react on a very precise scale and ensure that you still get that level tamp with the correct amount of compaction. So to take a look at my basket here, I've got 19 grams of coffee, just came out of the grinder, it's still pretty fluffy. Uh, thankfully, I don't really have to groom this much. It's still very centered. I might give it a settling tap. But when I go in to tamp it, all I have to do is set it down and push. And I'll give it a little bit of a spin here. But because I pushed, I have, uh, have even contact all around the basket between the rim of the tamper and the basket itself. So again, you get a consistently level tamp every single time. And I can still sort of polish that up a little bit. But you see the, uh, the advantage there of having that contact around the rim of the basket. Really, it's almost impossible to screw up with this uh, unless, you know, maybe you set the depth wrong, but it's also very easy to react because, again, just with a couple of seconds and a couple of turns, you can change your depth, lock it back in place, and go on your way with better espresso. Uh, we've got a couple of different styles and a couple of different piston sizes. These are all 58 that I have right now, but we also have 58.6. Uh, so if you're using ridgeless VST baskets, the 58.6 will give you an almost perfect side seal around the basket. The 58 is better for ridged VST baskets and other uh, sort of OEM baskets and styles. Um, but we have quite a, a variety, um, including these aluminum that are anodized, solid stainless steel, these are a bit heavier, and as well as these uh, wooden collared ones. So that is the Mulgut Palm Tamper. Thanks for watching.